Falcon. Or, come on, chair, behave. Something weird's happening with the wheel. I don't want to just go exactly where I want it to go. Me. <laughs> Alright, well, um, it's Friday, yay! <laughs> going to be working on some little custom babies. This is Dimitri by Avery Stoletti. He's going to be a little custom baby. And he's going to have a darker skin tone. to mix up some more color here. Yeah, it takes a while for me to mix colors, so I think we'll do... I think I'm not going to work with Dimitri right now. I'll work with... Um, where is she? Here she is. This is Fenna. I'm Nina Hartog, and she is the second custom baby I'm working on right now. And I think for her, Yeah, I think I'll do it a little bit more, um... Hello? Neutralizing. Do a little bit more neutralizing on her. And sponges. Uh, not that sponge. <laughs> They're just jumping out at me. Pick me, pick me, pick me! bigger drawers for my sponges. <laughs> Alright, so while I'm painting Fenna, I thought that I would do another top 10 list, because last week I did a video about the top 10 reborn kits that I would potentially like to have in my collection at some point. And I thought, um, today I would do a top ten list of sold-out Reborn kits that I would have loved to get my hands on, but unfortunately joined the hobby too late to get them. Well, either joined the hobby too late or just didn't have enough money to get the kits when they were out. So I'm going to... Last time I started at the ones that I want the most, and then went back to the ones that I... not wanted the least, but you know what I mean. This time I guess... Cause, um, I guess that's kind of backwards for most people. So this time I'll do it the right way, and I'll go from, you know, the kit, sold out kit that I am, you know, I would have liked to have it, but it's not super depressing that I can't have it, to a kit that I absolutely pine over, that there's pretty much no chance I'm going to get. So, number 10 is Kai by Nicole Russell. And, again, disclaimer, I don't own any of these pictures. These aren't dolls I've painted. Um, they come from the McPherson's website. So, you know, I'm pretty, I, I think, yeah, Kai came out when I was 
in the Reborn community, and I was painting, but I just, that was at a point that I didn't have a lot of money. I still don't have a lot of money, but um, I was pretty much flat broke at that point, teenager, and um, just never had the money to get him. And I also um, wanted to focus more on getting bigger babies in my collection, so... And he is, um, he was a smaller sized kit. He was a newborn size, well, newborn sized kit, but people say that he wears, um, three, zero to three month clothing because he's a real chubby, little chubby baby. And that's one of the things, that's like basically the thing that drew me to him the most. Because he's just, he, he's a very, very chubby baby. You know, a lot of kits have the chubby cheeks because babies have chubby cheeks and chubby cheeks on babies are really cute, but this doll has some serious chubby cheeks. I'm not super sad that I didn't get to paint him or have him in my collection, but he what he's a really cute kit, and it would have been nice, but you know, I'm not like, oh my god, why can't I have that kit? Um, so nine is Esme by Cassie Brace. I'm a huge Cassie Brace fan, and you know, her... She has a very unique face, I think. There's just, I can't quite tell what it is about her face, but there's something about her face that just, you know, she stands out from a lot of the other kits, because, you know, there's quite a few kits that I feel, you know, unless you know them really, really well, you could easily put, like, I don't know, like five different kits up to each other, and if you're not looking at them all directly, you could probably mistake them for the same kit. Like, you know, it's not... We, It's kind of like a generic, generic face that we fall into, that, you know... I don't know, you know what I'm saying, a lot of kids tend to look the same when they're sleeping, but, um, Esme's face just kind of pops out to me for some reason. Eight is Chloe by Natalie Blick. I think that she's kind of common one that people would have on this list. She has a very, very cute face, very big eyes, kind of looks, she has this look like she's kind of a little bit alarmed, maybe a little bit concerned about something. I just think she has a very, very cute face. Number seven is James by Georgia Pickett. So, or it's some people say Pickett, some people say Pigot. It, I, I don't know. I I never claim to be good at pronouncing things. Um, so he was a larger kit. He's not quite a toddler. He's a bigger baby, and. He has, again, he has, um, what I feel is a more unique face. And he is also a smiling baby, kind of has an open mouth smile. 
and, you know, I'm a sucker for big babies, and he's also a kit that I feel is a very boyish looking kit, and would have been, um, an ideal kit for a boy of that size in my collection. And he had a very, he has a very, very cute smile, so... You know, kind of sad to see that he's been sold out. Uh, number six. Abby by A.K. Kitagawa. Again, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um... She was pretty popular for a while, around, not when I, I don't think it was when I, you know, first, oh, was she? Yeah, I think when I first, like, really got into Reborns and started to, um, actually express outwardly an interest in them, and didn't keep it like a dark little secret. She was a popular kid at the time, and she sold out relatively quickly, and again, it's just, you know, she's a slightly bigger baby, and she has a really unique expression. And, you know, at that time, um... Because I think for everyone who collects, their most desired kits kind of, like, it's, it's always changing because, you know, your tastes change, your wants for your collection ch change, and the kits that are available are always changing too. So at that time, Abby was like at the top of my list of dolls I would have liked to have. But she sold out a really long time ago. Number five is Susu by Natalie Blick. So she... It's probably been a couple, like... I don't know, with the whole COVID thing, the last few years have kind of just, like, melded together. But I was definitely in the community when her kit came out. Uh, probably could have gotten her if I really, really wanted to. But um, decided to go with other choices instead. Or was just looking for something different for my collection at the time that she was available. And I absolutely adore her face. Again, she's a slightly bigger baby. Which, you know, my ideal doll size is above 22 inches, and she's in that range. And I think her face is very, a very realistic baby face, and she's, she's so cute. The expression is so cute. Natalie Blick does a lot of dolls with very cute expressions and very, um... It's the eyes, the great big eyes. And the lips on her dolls, too. Just something about the way she sculpts usually makes for very, very cute babies. Number four is Betty by Natalie Blick. So there's quite a few Natalie Blick kits on this. Um... Yeah, so, she's, I guess she would be on my favorite sculptors list, maybe I should do that at least at some point, but, um, none of her kits that are currently available really appeal to me all that much, she just released another kit, Benjamin, and, you know, he's cute, but I'm not really, like, he's not, like, a have-to-have -have for me. And if he sells out, I don't think I'm going to really care all that much. He's still a very, he's 
you know, he's still a very nice kid, but, you know, not really something I'm looking for. But, you know, with the, a lot of her sold-out kits are like, oh my god, I love this doll, but her, they're all sold out. So, none of Natalie Blick's kits made it on my top ten most wanted kits that are plausible to get. It's only her sold-out kits. And, um, Betty is was a toddler-sized doll, and she would probably be at the top of my list for toddler dolls I would want if she were still available, but she's not. You know, again, very cute expression, the lips, the eyes, she's just adorable. But sold out, and that one does kind of depress me. Um, number three, Nova by Cassie Brace. Now, maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention, but, you know, I feel like I discovered the Nova kit, and then she just, like, boom, sold out, like, immediately. Maybe it didn't happen that way, but that's what it felt like to me. So I didn't get a chance to get my hands on her, but she was a 23-inch kit, the same size as the Evelyn, which I did get to get my hands on before she sold out. That's my... Erilyn, and, um, but Nova is an awake kit, and she has a very cute expression, she kind of looks a little bit mad, and I'm all about the not-so-blank generic expressions, that's why I have the Tiger Lily kit, also a Cassie Brace kit, she has, like, this little, little mean mug, little glare going on, and Nova kind of has a similar-ish expression, and, uh, she would have been on my list above, um, Tiger Lily for the reason that she was a larger baby, but she sold out. Number two is probably, you know, it's in number two because it's one of the kits that I look at and I'm like, why? Why can't I have you? And, um, that is Mattia by Gudrun Legler, Leg Legler, 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 Leg, oh my god, sculptors' names are very <laughs> hard to pronounce, um, but yeah, again, a toddler size kit, and I was in the community when she came out, but was nowhere near able to afford her, and she's at the very top of lists of toddlers I would love to have, but can't have. Very adorable face, very innocent, wide-eyed face, um... But, yeah, sold out, so I will most likely never get my hands on that kit. Oh yeah, that paled her down nice and good. Get up there. Okay, and number one, um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if this was a really popular kit. I know a couple channels that, Reborn channels that I watch, or not so much anymore, because I've been <laughs> kind of falling out of touch with watching other Reborn channels, because I just get so busy. Um, I know that a couple of them had this kit, and again, uh, was in the community when he came out, couldn't afford him, but when he came out, I remember, like, gawking at this kit, because I thought he was absolutely adorable, but I had no money. Um, and it is Marcus, by A.K. Kitagawa. Uh, 
I feel like he's a, a notable kid. I feel like he's probably a kid that most people would recognize by name. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but for me, he's at the top of the list because that that face. Uh-huh. I can't with that face. And, you know, he is, I think he's 20 inches, so he's uh-huh. a newborn size kit, which... You know, again, I love the bigger babies, and I would have expected for my number one place to be a bigger baby, but I'm just a sucker for that face, that face with that tongue, and he's just, what can I say, he's adorable. And, you know, every time I see that kit, I get just a little bit depressed. Not literally depressed, but you you know what I mean. Just, you know, that... You know, you want it, and you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, even if I, you know, I make, all the dolls I have in my collection so far have been dolls that I've painted myself, and I do definitely plan to buy someone else's work when I'm well off money-wise and well-established and all that, and... That's probably the only way I would end up with Marcus in my collection ever, is not by painting him, but by buying a doll that's already been painted. And since he's a sold-out kit, that doll would be very, very expensive. (laughs) Unless you caught someone with the doll that had no idea what they had on their hands. And if any blank Marcus kits exist they would be bound to be hella expensive. I'm guessing that that's one of those blank kits that would sell in the 500 and above range. If you have ever been on the market for a sold-out kit, you would not be surprised by those numbers. Well, um, yeah, I don't want to drag this video out forever. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was kind of somewhat interesting. You know, actually putting a subject to the video instead of just me droning on forever, but I also like to do those, so. (laughs) Anyways, um, I'm going to finish neutralizing, well, this neutralizing layer on Fena because I have to take pictures of my custom babies and send updates to the people who ordered them. But yeah, that's all for now. Have a good Friday. Um, we will see you next time. I, I don't know what that was. I did. Hand seizure. <laughs>